Good morning, boys and girls. It is time for reading. And since we don't have reading groups, obviously, I'm going to try to do a reading passage or a reading book with you every day in place of that. So we've been um, doing a couple of our Saxon readers. Today, we're going to do one that focuses on the phonics skills we've been learning. If you'll get out reader number 37, it's called A Drawing Just For Me. And it is going to focus on A-U, as in Paul, and A-W, as in draw, and our new sight word, because. And you can tell that because also has an A-U. If you say the word properly, it's because. But when we say it quickly, it just sounds like because. And that's why so many of us spell it incorrectly. We spell it B-E-C-U-Z. And that is not the correct way. So if you think about the word being because, you hear that ah sound. And it helps you spell it correctly. You can pause the video for just a minute if you need to and get your book. And then um, either a yellow crayon or highlighter and join me back here for reading. All right, if you are ready, oh, we need to go back to our front page there. I've highlighted the words on the back, but those aren't the only words we're gonna look for. We're gonna look for any word that has A-U or A-W, okay? And you know, sometimes I miss them, so you watch carefully. Let's start with the title, A Drawing Just For Me. My name is Paul. I have two jobs. One job is teaching art classes. I do this job because I enjoy teaching. I show the children good paintings. They tell me what they see. We look closely at one part. Then they draw what they saw. I help them with their drawings. I teach them to paint, too. We mix colors. The children paint because it is fun. My other job is even better. That is because I get to draw. I pack up my paints. I pause, that means wait, to grab my hat. On nice days, I go out at dawn. I lost my little cursor. Can you see it? There we go. I go early because the light is soft. I look for the best spot. Soon I start to draw. One, ooh, August, did you catch that? One August day I saw a fawn. A fawn is a baby deer. It did not see me at first. It crossed the lawn slowly. I took a snapshot of the fawn. So as you can see, these words that end with an N, lawn and fawn, um, they are still spelled with an A-W. So that's part of that rule where A-W usually comes at the end of a word. Later, I wanted to draw the fawn. I looked at the snapshot. That helped me draw the fawn. I like this drawing a lot. Should I sell it? Should I keep it? I think this drawing is just for me. The end. Boys and girls, I would like you to pause the video and read this book two more times. 
I would love if you could read it to someone in your family. If someone is there close by, please read this at least two more times. Just pretend you're going to reading groups and your mom is, or your dad or sister, grandma, whoever's with you, is your reading teacher. And you're going to read this book two more times to them. When you come back, I'm going to ask you the questions to make sure you understood what you read, read. Okay, see you in a minute. Are you back? I hope you had a chance to read this at least two more times. Let's go over the questions. Number one says, who is the person telling the story? Would you please tell someone that's near you? Who is telling the story? Did you say Paul? Yes, you were right. Number two, what are Paul's two jobs? So remember, Paul had two jobs. Do you remember what they were? If you need to look back in the book, you can, but tell someone close to you what Paul's two jobs were. Number three, why does Paul go out at dawn? Remember dawn is the early morning when the sun is first coming up? Why does Paul go out at dawn? Because he said that's when the light is best, right? Number four, what does Paul's snapshot show? Remember he took a picture, he took a snapshot. What did he take a picture of? What does his snapshot show? Please tell someone close to you. And number five, how does he use the snapshot? What does he use that picture for? He uses it for something. Do you remember what it was? Boys and girls, I hope you'll take time to read this book a few more times through the week because it is right on your reading level and it will help you be a stronger reader. Make sure that you're trying to read it without any mistakes. Okay, and we'll see you next time.